Hello, folks. This old hunter here with that little, that little Sears that's sitting have a lap with Pat. You know, so I got my little sweetheart right here on my lap. She loves to sit with Daddy. And uh, she's got a lot of fans, especially wrestling fans. They seem to love her. <laughs> it's hard to make a big old bruiser wrestler would fall in love with a little dog like this, especially the wives. They all want puppies from her. But we have to tell them sorry we had her fixed when she was just a little thing. Cause the vet says she'd have a hard time having puppies, so we didn't want her to go through that. And not only that, if she had puppies, we couldn't give them away. We'd have we'd all that with a house full of puppies. <laughs> so I've been teaching Maggie a few tricks, not tricks, but just something takes a little smart. So I think she's a pretty, pretty intelligent little dog there. I know she knows how to control this household. She knows how to get all of us to do whatever she wants us to do, believe me. But uh, she got mad at me the other day. I taught her how to play chess. And I beat her three out of five, and she got mad, so she won't play with me no more. So I guess I'll have to come up with something else for her to do. Well, I'm trying to teach her a little bit about multiplying, dividing, subtraction, adding, stuff like that. And I think I pretty well got her where she can do pretty good. Let's give a little try. Maggie, come see Daddy. Come on. Get up here. Come see Daddy. Okay. Turn around here and tell the folks, hey, we're going to do a little mathematician here. And I'm going to show you all how smart I am. Okay. Okay, Maggie, I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you something. Now listen to me, okay? What is three from five? That was good. Okay. Let's do another one. What is one times one? Hey, that was good, too. You're pretty smart. You know that? You're also lovable, ain't you? I'm going to give you a real hard one, okay? What a 997. Take three away from 1,000. Boy, that was great. All right, give daddy, give daddy a kiss. Come on. Give daddy a kiss. Come here, baby. Give daddy a little kiss. Oh, thank you. You are such a pretty little puppy. It's such a lovely little thing. And very, very smart. I think a lot of people really believe you that smart. I do sometimes. We have to say words. And sometimes just in letters so you won't know what we're talking about. Like ice cream. To keep you from getting all excited and everything, we say I see. Well, you don't figure out how to know what that is, hadn't you? I'm going to tell you something, folks. You don't need a great big old dog. You don't need a great big old dog or a watchdog. This little thing right here with her ears, you would not believe there's nothing could ever happen to anybody coming into this house. She sits there all day and she can see the reflection in a china cabinet. When somebody drives up, boy, here she goes. My son, he pulls off the main highway out there coming this way. She jumps down and runs to the door because she knows the sound of this car. It's hard to believe how sensitive ears these little dogs have. But uh, she loves to give sugar. Maggie, come give daddy some sugar. Come on. Give daddy some sugar. Now, <laughs> not around the neck. Now, this is what she calls giving sugar. Now, you tell me they ain't smart. She goes up here lays in my lap for me to scratch her belly. That's giving sugar. Okay, baby. You've done a good job. Okay. She loves to go outside, too, but we're, we're very protective because we do have snakes here. I've killed a few cotton owls and stuff, and one of our other dogs, she, no, it was this one here, she's just a little puppy. So I had her on a leash, and I took her outside, and I'm walking on towards the pump house where she likes to go to the bathroom, and she's just going on, this little thing wasn't this big, I mean, she fit in your hand, you know? And I'm glad I had a leash on her, because I had to look, here was a big cotton owl stretched out. And I know she'd have went right up to it, damn, it died in my mind, she'd have went right up to that snake, and probably tried to give it a kiss, and she'd probably been bitten and died. But I jerked her back and come inside and I got the gun and I went outside and uh, got rid of it. But uh, what a, one of the things she'd done one time, and, and I, it's still hard to believe she'd done it. And that's when she was a little puppy too. But if we done got to where it was taking her off the leash and letting her kind of run a little bit on her own. And a little chipmunk run out beneath my, my uh, woodshed and she seen it and she went up there and both went up there like this and it touched noses. And then put back and look, and it run back and forth. I wish I could have had that on the film. That was unreal for that little chipmunk. The little chipmunk was up on his back, and they just stretched like that. And she bent down, and they touched those. I thought that was fantastic. <laughs> well, we're going to be going to town a little bit. 
So I know Maggie always likes to get dressed up when she goes to town. So she's going to go get dressed. Go get dressed, baby. Go get your dress on. There she goes. She's going to go get her dress. And uh, I, I'll start showing you some of her clothes here while she goes to the bedroom and gets dressed. She has a ton of clothes. She loves her clothes. She loves to be dressed up. I'm telling you, that little dog is something. Now, his one's for wintertime. It's padded. And she loves it, too. She likes all of them, every one of them. Now, this one here, this, <laughs> this is something my son got her. It was Halloween. It's a dragon cake with a dragon head. That's for Halloween. So when kids come to the door, she runs out there and beats them. Here's another one of her shirts. Like I said, she has tons of clothes. I mean, tons. I like this one here, too. I like the little frilly lace on it. She's real happy with that. And then you got this one here. Just is adorable on her. So there's much more in there, but I think that baby's about ready to come back and get ready to go to town. So I'm going a, I'm to a get her back up here. <laughs> She's eating a treat right now. We always give her a treat, so when she gets to eating a treat, then I'll uh, I'll call her back up and we'll see if we do a little bit more multiplication for you. But, uh, she loves to entertain and all the wrestlers and their wives just love her to death. And they want us to bring her to the wrestling. We, we can't hold it back. And she big crowd, she gets a little nervous, you know, and she's barking everybody in there. So we decided not to, but Josh puts on a fantastic wrestling show. And uh, he's from Monroe, Louisiana. He comes over to Brookhaven three or four times a year and has the wrestling match. And all the wrestlers, oh, come on, baby, go get your mom. All the wrestlers know her because my son takes videos of her. Come here, sweetie. Look, daddy got a pretty bone for you. And uh, all the wrestlers just, you need to bring it to the show. I don't need a blah, 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 you know. But we got a lot of requests to make a little video of her. And it's the first one she's made. She's probably going to get better, but right now, that, that's about the best I can do for her. So, this is the old hunter fixing to sign off. And just remember, I always say this in all my shows. If there's something you want to do, or you like to get a little poo poo like this, they're nice because they don't shed in the house or nothing, easy to train, do it. Don't put life off because let, remember this life is short, but death is forever. Wave goodbye to him, baby. Bye-bye.